from Cold and Dark. Um, and we'll play around with a little bit of those uh, circuit breaker panels what, what, uh, and a few of the other systems uh, in the CRJ. Mm. Uh, as a disclaimer, what you see here is not the V2 model. What you see here is not what Javier was live, uh, what he was live streaming earlier today. Um, Javier is currently modeling, yeah, as I said, in uh, 3D Studio on a model that I haven't got yet. Only Javi, Javi is the only person who has um, seen this model live so far because he is working on it now. I haven't seen it actually. I have not had it on my computer. I've not had a chance to actually use it in x -Plane. right now. It only exists on Javier's machine in 3D Studio. So what you see here is still the old um, CRJ 1.7 model as it exists for x -Plane 10 and x -Plane 11 today. So none of the things that Javier animated over the course of all the live streaming uh, sessions that you may have seen on, on YouTube Live on Javier's channel, uh, they are not in here. So anything that, that Javier has done is not visible in what I have here on my machine. This is 3D model-wise uh, in the cockpit and on the outside. This is still uh, CRJ 1.7 exactly as uh, you you have it on, on your machines today. So um, so that this is this is this is very important. Um, the the V2 model that that Javier works on right now will look a lot a lot uh, sharper, a, lo a lot crisper. Um, the screens in the virtual cockpit will have twice the resolution, so the readability of the displays in the virtual cockpit will be a lot better uh, than what you see here today. Um, I will be using the uh, the pop-up panels of the the displays for for most of the demonstration, but in the actual model as soon as I get my hands on it when Javier exports it for explain uh, for the first time um, then the resolution is going to be a lot better <clears throat> all right so how do we do the things that aren't animated yet I mean all of those 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 circuit breakers back here um, they are very crude there there's no there's no animation I cannot click them nothing happens when 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 I click on them um, so for the purpose of um, developing uh, all this, I have created a, a very simple uh, REST API um, that allows me to manipulate anything in the CRJ panel, anything in the CRJ model um, from my web browser. So for developing purposes, of course, I have those on a uh, on a. Uh, another machine, so on a different computer in the same network, I have the browser open. I uh, can see my my REST API in in this other browser. For demonstration purposes of this stream, however, of course, I'm going to uh, bring it up here. And this may not look like much, but what it does is a little bit of HTML code. Um, can you actually do show source in Safari? I've never done this. Uh, I don't know. Don't think you can. I don't know. Show page to us. Ah, there you go. That's that. That exactly. So with a little bit of uh, uh of uh, HTML, as, as you, uh, with a little bit of JavaScript, as you can see here, I can talk to the REST API um, of the 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 CRJ plugin or the the CRJ server rather. Uh, and um, that allows me to access all the, the functions in the panel that, that Javier hasn't animated in, in, in the model yet. Um, and that works for basically all, all the data refs. I'm, I'm going to explain those, those panels later. Um, but this allows me to, to show some of the functionality even though the model, um, even though the model is not finished yet. All right, um, so for powering up, mm, what we do obviously is uh, we turn on the battery master switch, which is uh, up here, and um, let me quickly walk you through what happens there. So right now, 
Um, there's two buses, no, actually three buses that are powered in uh, in the CRJ, and that is the um, main battery hot bus, the APU battery hot bus, and the emergency bus. Um, what's on the emergency bus? Um, the emergency bus is all the stuff basically that you need um, to detect and put out fire. So, for example, all the the shutoff valves that uh, turn off the fuel supply um, to the engines and, and the shutoff valves for the, the hydraulic pumps, the engine-driven hydraulic pumps, all that stuff is on the, um, is on the um, emergency bus, which is always powered even if the battery master is off. And that is modeled, so if you would leave X-Plane open with the CRJ running with the battery master off and you waited for a really long time uh, like leave the leave the simulator with the CRJ running with the battery master off and just let the computer sit there for several days obviously using time compression I guess um, this would actually slowly run the battery down um, even though the battery master is off because the hot buses are still powered um, so the hot battery, um, sorry, the, the emergency bus is, um, geez, I need my wiring diagram to show it to you. Let me, let me get my wiring diagram. And of course, as you'd expect, um, as you'd expect, I don't have the correct piece of paper here right now. So what I'm going to do instead is um, ah, hang on. I had I had a beautifully annotated wiring diagram where I could explain this to you. Let's see if I can. If I can ah, nope, nope, nope. That's the wrong. <laughs> nope, that's for the CRJ 700. That's the wrong book. Um, well, what happened here? There you go. So, this is uh, CRJ200. That should be the correct book. terrible this is terrible wrong book okay yeah sorry not really prepared for this um okay let's see if I can if I can explain it um, by just uh, using the, uh, the the circuit breaker panel um, so if we go down here uh, and you will see there's the um, which one is this? This is essential, ADG, essential, essential. Nope, that's not the right one. I guess it's down here on the first officer's side. Let's see. DC essential. DC essential. Nope. Um, ah, there you go. That's the right one. Sorry, yeah. Without the correct handbook, I'm quite lost. Um, okay, yeah, I, I know it's hard to read because, um, as I said, it's not Javier's updated model. In the updated model, it will be very easy to read, and, and this is uh, this is terrible. I hope you can you can actually read this. So what this says is the um, uh, the 28 volts DC direct current uh, emergency bus. So you can see what's on it: the fire extinguishers, 
for uh, engine one and two, the fire extinguishes for um, the APU, the fuel shutoff valves, the um, uh, hydraulic shutoff valves, and on the left here you see the uh, important thing. It's fed from the APU battery direct bus, and this is a hot bus, so it's always powered as long as the APU battery actually has power, and um, and therefore will. Um, will drain the battery over a long time, even when the battery masters off. And as you can see, what is also on this bus is the uh, cockpit dome light. So even if the battery power is off, the, the, sorry, the battery master switch is off, you can still um, turn on the cockpit dome light because it's on the, um, on the emergency bus. So what we're going to do now when we turn on the battery master what this does it is it activates an uh, an RCCB a remote controlled circuit breaker that connects the hot battery bus to um, uh, the actual battery bus and that is that one right here so everything that is on this panel uh, will be available when the battery master is on and the actual battery bus is powered. All right, so let's do that. Battery master goes on, and I hope we have some sound. And of course, now I have made some terrible mistake. And I see a few lights coming on, but no sound. Where's the sound? I was actually expecting some sound. Oh, that's not good. Come on. All right. Hang on. I need to. I need to step in the debugger, it seems. <laughs> 